Hello, my dears. Right now, I'm 320 kilometers far from Yerevan in Kapan Town, the administrative center of Sunik region. Kapan has been an important industrial and mining center in the southeast of Armenia since the 19th century. It is located at the intersection of Vokhchi and Vachagan rivers at the foot of Mount Hustu, which is 3,206 meters high. The word Kapan originated from Indo-European word canyon, which means to be locked among the mountains. In ancient times, the town was called Yot Nabert, meaning seven fortresses, probably because of the seven fortresses marking the borders of Sunik province. According to historian Stepanos Orbelian, Kapan was an Armenian settlement still in the 5th century before Christ. In 997, it was a major center of Sunik kingdom, later the capital. In the 11th century, Kapan had 20,000 inhabitants. In the 16th and 17th centuries, Kapan fell under the control of Persia. In the 18th, both in Artsakh and Sunik broke out a liberation movement headed by legendary hero David Beg, who protected the region till 1727. In the 18th century, Kapan was a permanent apple of the discord between Russia and Persia. But in 1918 and 20th, Kapan again became a center of liberation movement, this time headed by Garegin Najdeh. Modern Kapan owes its prosperity to the abundance of copper and molybdenum mines, the symbol of which is the statue of the bear that holds in his mouth the key to these treasure mountains. Today's Kapan is a marvelous city with 43,200 population. The town is guarded by the pantheon of the Second World War and the recent Artsakh war heroes. Eternal glory to all of them. The city is also famous for its plain group sanctuary, included in Chicago National Park. Yet, the spiritual center of the town is 10th 11th century Varnavank monastic complex. It is located 5 kilometers of the town and it will take you only 15 kilometers to reach to this marvelous place hidden in a forest. The monastery was built over a Bronze Age grave field by Prince Vahan Nakhashinokh, of which it gets its name, the son of Prince Gagik of Kapan in the early 10th century. In the early year 911, Prince Vahan built the Church of Sur Grigor Lusavorich. It's the oldest among the structures at Vahnavang. The church is a domed hall with a main temple and a pair of sacristies. Prince Vahan was buried near the door to the church. A spiritual school was opened here where young boys from Bach and other provinces studied. In 1088, Queen Shahandukht II of Sunik and her sister built the church of Surp Astvatsatin as a burial site for her and her relatives. So, thumbs up if you like this video and don't miss the opportunity to visit Kapan City.